Last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we left Bermuda for the second leg of our Atlantic crossing. The weather was absolutely perfect. We couldn't have wished for better conditions and we had an amazing sail. Good morning. It is our fourth day at sea, Sunday, Wednesday, fifth day at sea. And um, yeah, I've just come on my watch. It's uh, quarter past six in the morning. Watching the sunrise, it's absolutely beautiful. It's pretty nice weather. Um, we've got about almost 10 knots of wind, nine knots of wind. Um, it's coming from about, uh, about 147 degrees, so we only have about five, six knots of um, apparent wind. What else? I'm making some bread today. I made some bread uh, overnight, so I'm going to pop that in the oven in the next hour or two. So I'm going to have fresh bread for sandwiches. Right now, you know, life is good. All is well. I'm going to have coffee in a minute. I'm trying to wet myself up. I was lost in a city dream and I was at home again beside the stream Then you walked past me And you saw me and smiled I will never forget the first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind First time I've seen dolphins in, uh, God, I don't even remember how long, ages. I think since we went to the States last year. It's so magical watching them. It's always so fun and surprising when they come and play with you. They seem to really enjoy it. I don't know. I don't know why, but they love it. They love us as much as we love them, I think. Is it possible for us to feel Hello. What's on the menu tonight? Onion. Everyone's <laughs> just getting onion. It's onion today. Today is uh, Thai chicken and butternut green curry with jasmine rice. Served with a smile and a moustache. So we've done 498 miles so far. We've got another 1300 or so to go. So we're over the quarter... <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm my butter Why don't you concentrate on making me my dinner? So that means that we are over a quarter of the way to the Azores from Bermuda. A quarter of our journey is behind us and uh, it's been a pretty awesome four or five days at sea to be honest. It's been I think one of the best, well it's been some of the best sailing that we've ever done. Oh, 500 miles, there you go. Yay! Another... Oh, the way there. So is the Black Bay plan, all our plans are pretty bad plans. To go to Hawker, just kind of recover, 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 great recognition, and then at the nearest possible weather window, go back. Yes. Yeah, so that's 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 my that's the plan. Yeah, I'd like to probably say 48 hours in Hawthorne. In Not blimey, okay. I was thinking like two or three days. That, that is two days. days. <laughs> three or four days. Well, You're a minute. More. A yeah, minute, more a than minute. Hours. It depends. If we, you know, if we get in, yeah, two or three or four days. This is Khaleesi, 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 over. Good evening, Khaleesi. This is Ruby Rose, over. Uh, Ruby Rose, uh, you are very, very faint. Uh, is there anybody who can relay for Ruby Rose, over? Khaleesi, Khaleesi, Ruby Rose, over. Uh, hi, Ruby Rose. Uh, it's a little clearer now. Uh, how have you had your day been and uh, how are things on board, over? Yeah, fairly good. We uh, hoisted the parasailer this morning after radio net, so we've been bootling along at about five and a half, six knots. We'll douse it soon and get it for white sails to the night. Over. Luck of gold, a secret smile. I will tell you. Place a hand upon your heart every 
One thing that you have to be really aware of on long distance passages is chaff of your lines. On one of our checks, we found that one of the blocks leading to the mast base had fractured its cheek and chaffed through part of our main halyard. As it was only the outer sheath of our Downing Hill line, there was no loss of structural integrity. So we just dropped the mainsail, took our spare halyard out, re-rigged the spare halyard, and then used some Kevlar sheathing, a set of fids to repair the original halyard. Hour later, good as new, job done. We rehoist the mainsail and we're back on our way. It is prudent to always change your lines and your halyards out as soon as you see signs of chaff. This means that you can change them from the deck using a good mousing line and you haven't got to go up the mast mid-Atlantic. That was cool. I think they've disappeared now though. I don't hang around for long. Anyway, um, so we are in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Um, we're 711 miles from Bermuda and 1100 miles from the Azores. And we've checked the weather this morning and it's not looking too great. We have good weather at the moment. We've got about 17 knots of wind from the southwest. But on Thursday, so 48 hours from now, there is a uh, quite a nasty gale coming through, which would bring 40 knots of wind and 18 foot seas with it, which is obviously not the weather that we are interested in being in the middle of. So we've made the decision, and it was a pretty easy decision, to change our course. And we are now heading uh, southeast to try and get further south to get out of the way of that system. So we've been at sea for eight days and it's gotten to the point where our meals are getting a little random. Um, this is our lunch, <laughs> it's a bit weird. <laughs> So Nick is going to have uh, leftover sausage casserole with a hash brown and I'm going to have a hash brown with some capsicum or peppers I think you say in uh, America and um, I'll fry myself an egg as well. Ah! Everything's going all over the place. Alright let me get this to Nick. Yeah. Alright, I'll take work out with day 12. Uh, 
um, we've got 455 miles to go, so I think we're at the three point mark. 450? Yeah. It's my magic number. It's 450 is where they can get you with a helicopter. <laughs> and we're getting ready for the day. Um, so yeah, the end is now in sight at long last. <laughs> we're planning, I think we're thinking we're gonna get in on Friday, which will mean we would have done a four, uh, hang on, 16 day passage. Kind of a long one, but not impossible. So we're all kind of doing our, our uh, morning kind of jobs. Um, Shiner's on watch. I'm making some bread for lunch and Nick is uh, checking the weather. What's that red thing? <laughs> Got wind all the way in. This is our position here. So that's uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Yep. We've got it on the nose. Yep. By midnight tonight, it's swung around so we can actually get a point of sail. If we head north a little bit, mm -hmm. by nine o'clock tomorrow morning, we got back to south southerly winds, yep. which will give us 15 knots of sailing breeze. That's a good breeze, yep. although it's upwind with everything else. Mm -hmm. But actually, it strengthens a bit tomorrow evening to actually be quite strong. So we'll actually reef down quite hard tomorrow, but nonetheless, it's a sailing breeze. Then Thursday, Thursday will be like up here somewhere. Yeah, south-south-west, yeah. That's it. Alright. So it is Thursday. Hopefully, touch wood, our last day on the water um, for this leg. We have covered 1,750 miles and we have, according to the clock, 128 miles to go. The last time we did a crossing it was um, all downwind and we averaged six and a half knots over three weeks. This crossing has had wind and rain from all directions. Yesterday was bloody awful. We had uh, about 18 to 22 hours of really short chop, just about on the nose. So we were hard on the wind. Everything was soaked. Um, no one really got any sleep. Today it's completely different, which is good. Anyway, I'm not quite sure how much longer I could have put up with that. Hopefully tomorrow afternoon we will arrive in Horta, where we will spend three or four days just getting ready for the last leg off to mainland Europe. Yeah, one more night at sea, and then um, beer tomorrow night. I make huge, huge promises about how much beer I'm gonna drink. Normally, the reality of the situation is that I have one beer and fall asleep, <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, as you can see, this is coming on very well. Um, although Teresa wants it shaved off at some point. But anyway, that's, uh, that's today's diary. Dear diary, this is what we've done. This is our last day of sailing. We're gonna get to the Azores tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning hopefully and uh, it's a really lovely final day out here in the Atlantic Ocean but we're all looking forward to getting in to the Azores tomorrow and finally getting back to Europe. It's quite amazing we're going to be back in Europe on this boat and uh, we're pretty excited, very excited. You wrote to me, you wrote to me this is suddenly We've had 
some lovely nights at sea, I've seen some lovely sunsets, some amazing sunrises, I've seen stars at night, we've seen dolphins. Seen these, whales? Yeah, there's a sense of camaraderie that can only be had from crossing an ocean with your friends. <laughs> we saw an octopus as well. An octopus? We saw an octopus, a big red octopus, like what? bright red. I didn't know about this. Yeah, it's just between us chaps. She knew they could have missed her. week on sailing ruby roads we finally arrive in horta after 16 days at sea obviously the first thing on our mind is to go out and have a good meal and a cheeky beer thank you so much for watching beautiful people as you can see we did finally make it we didn't sink the boat so a bit of a spoiler there so in a few weeks time we are going to be releasing a q a episode based on crossing the atlantic ocean by sailboat any questions that you have for that, please submit them down below in the comments section or you can email us or send us a message on Facebook. The links to that are down below in the description as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, which I'll put right here so that you don't miss the episode. You can also hit that notification bell and social media links are down below as well. We'll see you next Friday with a brand new episode. Bye. Bye.